This overview will demonstrate the key features of the intelligent GT4 racing system. The intelligent GT4 racing system was developed to make the operation of the car easy for team and drivers. For the system we developed two different modes, the mechanic mode and the race mode. The race mode basically includes all key functions the driver will need during the race. The mechanics mode contains a wide range of settings and information that will help the team to operate the car in the easiest way. We call it the intelligent GT4 racing system because the system is able to change automatically between the modes based on parameters like temperatures and pressures. The steering wheel is one of the key interfaces between the driver and the system in racing mode. We have the radio button which is used to communicate with the team and the box. Here we have the drinking button. The car does have a drinking system. This button is for the pages in the display. You can switch to several pages where you can see all the basic functions or the basic data of the car. Below here we have the button to put the car in neutral or reverse gear. We can adjust 12 settings of the ABS. You see we have the flash button to overtake or to indicate that you're faster than the car in front of you. We have here the button to reset the fueling and also to reset the trip. Here we have the button for the uh, pit limiter and pit and full course yellow button. Here you can adjust the settings of the traction control. We have six different settings of traction control. And here you have the button to start or kill the car. This is the pit limiter button. You use it for pit limit and full course yellow. Short press on the pit limiter button, you're in pit limiter mode. Short press, you're out of the mode. Long press, you go to full course yellow mode. Long press, you go out of full course yellow mode. When you activate the pit limiter, the high beam is automatically shut off. In full course yellow mode, you can see on the display that the system provides the driver with important data like brake temperatures and tire temperatures. The values for pit limiter and full course yellow can be adjusted by the MNC menu navigation control by the mechanic without big support from engineering. The menu navigation controller is a true multifunctional tool which also allows you to adjust the side mirrors. When the car goes into night mode, the door panels light up, the brightness of the display and the steering wheel adapts to the driver's needs, and you have three different levels of brightness. Also, when you're in night mode and you press the pit limiter, the cockpit light goes automatically on. For wet races, you can either activate the rain mode by switching on the wiper or pressing the rain light button. In rain mode, the rain light and the heated windscreen are automatically activated. To avoid the penalty for pit timing, the timer is automatically activated when you press the pit button. To avoid losing time during a pit stop, the car imitates the sequential gearbox by the first stop, first go function. There is a special feature to change the appearance of the display to that of a 3 times Le Mans Winger TSO50 hybrid. The system has three different levels of driver interaction. Blue is a driver information, orange is a soft warning and red is a hard warning. The system has a GPS auto detection which recognizes on which track the car is currently on.